video today is actually going to be a very short video. Um, being in the car business for 23 years, I hear the topic of this video so often. So I wanted to get on here and give some advice, give some knowledge that there is no difference. It's just a different term. Today's topic, I'm going to talk about involuntary surrender and repossession. A repossession is when the bank or your financial institution comes to get your vehicle, picks up your vehicle for non-payment. Got behind on your payments and your finance company actually decided to repossess your vehicle. So that's when the company, the, the finance company actually repossess, picks up your vehicle. And let me tell you how that you can avoid your car being repossessed. One of the ways that you can avoid your car being repossessed is that before you get behind on your payments and you know that you can't afford it, you can't afford the vehicle, is to sell the vehicle. Go to a dealership and see whether they, they want to buy your vehicle. If they give you $16,000 for the vehicle and you owe twenty, dollars you have to write a check for $4,000. Whoever buys that car has to have their own loan on that car. Or they have to pay, the, the finance company has to be paid. Somebody has to pay it. Involuntary surrender is, you call your finance company and you say, you know what? You know, I can't afford the vehicle anymore. The, the, you know, maybe it's mechanical problems with the vehicle. And you turn your vehicle in. Now that's called involuntary repossession. In the car business, I think customers get confused because they think that, oh, it's better if you just surrender it versus them coming to get it. It's the same thing. It's still gonna be on your credit report. With involuntary surrender and repossession, what the finance company does, they're gonna get their money because what they're gonna do is, the finance company is gonna send your vehicle to auction. This is where we get our cars at dealership. We either get our, our cars from trade-ins or we get them from auction because finance companies not, are not in the car business where they're actually going to sell the car. So they're going to send your vehicle to auction and get $15,000 at the auction. You have $5,000 that's still owed to the finance company. Who's going to pay that money? It's just going to go in the air. No, it's not. The finance company is gonna come to you for that $5,000 to settle that loan. I hope you got something from this video to know the difference between involuntary surrender and repossession. It's no difference. It's just terms. It's just word tracks. You're still gonna owe the lender. Two ways, again, that you can not owe them money is that you can sell the car to someone before you get behind or even when you're behind if there is a difference between what you owe and what you're trying to sell it for, you have to write the check to the finance company. Or what you can do is, if you can't write the check, go to the credit union, go to your bank and try to get a, a loan for the difference of that vehicle so that you won't owe the finance company. So just be smart. When you think about, if you know anybody and they're saying, I wanna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna turn my vehicle in, let them know it's no difference. You're still gonna end up on the financing company money. So think ahead, do something before you get to that point. If you like my video, make comments, tell somebody about my video, and just subscribe.